Over the years, probably like a lot of you, I've accumulated a lot of drill bits, wore out drill bits. It seems like every time I go to the hardware store to buy another set, they're like twice as expensive as they were before. I've sharpened them by hand, but you know, when I needed to, when I didn't have a replacement. But I'm not the greatest, and I know there's people out there that can almost put a factory edge on a drill bit by hand, but that's not me. So I started looking for a uh, sharpener that wasn't going to break the bank, that had good reviews. It didn't make any sense for just a, a do-it-yourself or to buy a, an expensive drill bit sharpener when you can just go out and buy a whole set of drill bits. So I ended up with this one. It's made by General and it, I think it cost me less than $30 on Amazon and it had pretty good reviews so thought I'd give that one a try. It's a General 825 and if the instructions look like this they're no good and I'll show you why. I decided to make a bracket for my belt sander. It's a nice flat surface and it's easier to remove. But nowhere in the instructions that came with the sharpener, unless it was on the package that I threw away, does it tell you how far away to mount the attachment to the grinder? Later I found out it was two and a quarter inches from some other instructions. The instructions say drill should be extended by approximately the length of its diameter beyond the nose of the lip rest. So according to the instructions, this is how it should look. And the lip rest is slightly behind the cutting edge of the drill. So next it says using the slotted base to advance the drill bit towards the cutting surface or grinding surface until the tip of the drill just barely touches but with the drill sticking out that far and I've got this as far back as it'll go I mean there's no way but I'm gonna grind this bit and see what it does There's no way I should have to grind that much metal off of this drill bit. And you can see how hot it got. This is really bad. I ended up turning the drill bit several times and I ground the uh, drill bit down to almost an eighth of an inch from the edge guide. In the end it did a pretty good job. The cutting edges are exactly the same length. I'm using the engineer's black book to check the angles.
So I found another manual on the internet for the General 825 sharpener. So this one says using the point angle drill overhang chart, choose the best point angle for the material to be drilled. So they actually have a chart and it shows to use half of the drill diameter. So now I have it set at half of the diameter of the drill bit. We'll see what this one does. So here I have the same problem. The drill bit sticking out too far and the base is as far back as it'll go and the drill is still hitting the uh, belt sander. So I had the same thing happen here where there was too much of the drill sticking out and I ended up grinding the drill bit down to again about an eighth of an inch from the lip edge. So I tried to do some more research on this drill bit sharpener and evidently the original design goes all the way back to 1913 and then later um, this version came out it was called a pit bull so I did some more research and actually found out that Snap-on used to sell these the exact same version of this and I found the, the right instructions so the drill bit has to be 1 16th of an inch extended just past the lip edge we'll try that So now I can ease the attachment forward until the drill bit touches the belt sander. And then lock it down. So now you just ease it up as you need to. And you keep doing that until you get a good grind all the way across the surface. And always make sure the uh, lip guide is touching the drill bit on the cutting edge. Now make sure everything's locked in place because you don't want anything to change and then you just flip the drill bit over. So it looks like over the years the drill bit sharpener has always been the same but the instructions have changed. If you have an older one you probably already have the right instructions and you didn't have to go through what I went through to figure it out. Overall I think it's a really good sharpener just as good or better than some of the more expensive ones. And the only thing I would change is um, I'm using 80 grit 
sandpaper on my belt sander and I'd probably change to 100 or 120 for a smoother cut. My next video will be about this um, fixture that I made to do split points on a drill bit. I just made it out of some scrap aluminum that I had 